Hello folks, in this video I am going to talk about a docker file uh, that is how to create one and then how to build image from that docker file as well as uh, running uh, the you know in this particular image to create a container and I am sure you will uh, find this topic very interesting. So in this uh, uh, topic I am going to cover uh, all these things. So uh, what is docker files? In the docker file basically we enlist all the steps or instructions to build an image. So basically we create this uh, docker file containing all the necessary instructions and then we perform a uh, docker build command or uh, run the docker build command to create uh, an image from this docker file. So in the previous videos we have already seen how to pull an existing image from docker hub now in this case i am going to create that image from the scratch so that's the difference uh, in the previous videos we just pulled an already you know uh, built image in this video i'm going to create an image from the sketch using docker file so now let's create this docker file uh, so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to create a folder or directory with the name docker contents okay let's uh, create a uh, docker content uh, so the command for the same is mkdir make directory uh, mkdir uh, docker content okay when you type ls command you can see that docker content folder is created or the directory is created let's go inside this using cd change directory command docker content okay now here we are going to create this docker file okay and uh, this docker file why we are creating because we want to in, uh, you know include certain instructions right so first, uh, so we will be create uh, basically utilizing certain keywords like from, cmd, run, right? Uh, from keyword is is always the first command which is uh, you know uh, used to basically uh, uh, use or get the base image, you know, or I mean it's always like you know you uh, giving the base image name. So from where which from which particular you want to uh, perform these steps or perform other several commands so for example if we use from ubuntu so from ubuntu it's like uh, we, we will be creating an ubuntu environment first okay and then based on that uh, based on uh, once that environment is created we will include uh, uh, certain other commands as well so there is another command called uh, or keyword called run which gets all uh, executed during building of an image right and uh, then there is a keyword called cmd right so cmd is the command which basically uh, gets executed uh, executed during uh, container creation right so that's that's the difference between run and uh, cmd so run uh, keyword run which gets executed during building of an image and uh, cmd uh, gets executed during container creation okay so that's, that's the only difference between these two commands so let's type uh, uh, let's create this docker file so we will be uh, using touch docker file so this is the command and then we will be using vim editor so vim docker file okay and then we will go inside this file now we need to uh, you know type certain commands here but if you type something here you know it automatically change into insert mode otherwise you can uh, change the mode into insert by pressing pressing i key i i is for insert okay so type from first command from ubuntu which is our base image right then we will run let us say um what can we run so run let's say apt get update okay and as i told you this will be executed during building of an image okay and then next command is cmt and then
let's type some message okay so echo let's give a message docker container is running okay so this is the message we want which we want to give okay now press enter and uh, uh, how to get out of this particular file so press escape okay and then type colon wq and then exclamation mark so once you type uh, one first escape key press escape key then type colon uh, wq and then exclamation mark to save this file and exit out of it so press enter so now we have if you type ls you have this docker file correct and you can see the content of this file by using cat docker file you can see the commands which we have entered right so uh, basically uh, now next what we will do is we will build this docker file using docker build followed by the path of path uh, and the name of the docker file since we are already inside this uh, docker files uh, sorry docker folder uh, docker content folder and we have fi our file here so i need not to type the entire qualified path of the directory otherwise if you are not inside uh, the directory where this file is located docker, docker file is located you can just type uh, docker build and then qualified path of that file right so qualified path now here uh, since i'm all, uh, already inside that folder where this file is uh, contained so i need not to type the qualified path okay so what i can do is i can basically uh, you know since my file is already here so i can type this period so docker build period so it will create a docker image but there are uh, certain other things which i would like to co cover as well uh, alternatively you can also give a command like docker build and then hyphen t t is for tag and then the na image name let us say i want to give the name of the images uh, docker docker mm, cnt or docker img okay and then i can give the tag let us say 1.0.0 okay and if in case you want to associate any uh, uh, you know um, any other tag so you can type anything like 1.01 1.0.0 just like i uh, did here so just to note uh, that when you run the docker build command then docker actually looks for file name docker file but it's not necessary you always keep the name of this file as docker file as i told you earlier so it can be another name as well now when we uh, let me run this command okay first let me run this command So now you can see that step one is complete from Ubuntu. Step two is uh, it is kind of updating from Ubuntu since I already had that image on my system, so it has taken that image. Otherwise, if the image was let us say if the image is, uh, was not present on my system, then it would have used the Docker Hub repository to get the or pull the image from there okay so as i told you so docker build is the command to uh, create an image out of this docker file right uh, let's type docker images here to see what all images do we have so see you can see now here that docker img which i gave the name here right you can see that docker uh, image img docker img is the name i gave here so tag 1.0.0 .0 .0, 
which I also provided here. So tag is also there. And then this is the image ID and it is created nine seconds ago with the size 111 MG, uh, MB megabytes. Okay. Okay, so now uh, to run this image, we can use command called docker run followed by the image ID name, right? So let me do uh, or let me type this uh, command docker run, docker run and then the name of this image, okay? okay so now let's see what exactly uh, is getting executed here so now you can see that we have got this message docker container is running which was which was the message which we actually included here echo docker image container is running right so guys in this video we have covered brief uh, you know uh, in detail about how to what exactly is docker file and then how to create a one uh, and uh, how to basically create an image from this uh, docker file and then how to run the uh, this docker container from the docker image so now you can see this message docker container is running which we gave here so guys this is it for this video uh, thanks so much for watching uh, keep watching for upcoming videos for next uh, video tutorials thank you